What's up, guys? Keys on McNeil here. Today, we are going to cover how do I get my phone to constantly ring? Why is it that when I post my resume online for the first couple days, yeah, I get some calls, but then after the first week, it's kind of dying out. So I'm going to show you how to keep that phone ringing. It's going to lead to more offers, more opportunity for interviews, and hopefully you'll find that new career you seek. How do you become more visible to employers? What can you do to make your phone ring, make people reach out to you for opportunities. Today, I'm gonna to crush that for you and it's gonna to lead to more offers, which will lead to more opportunities for you. So first, I want you to get your notepad out, take some notes. This is gonna be a very informative video. So what do we do first? Well, first we gotta understand what happens when we actually post our resume online, okay? I'm gonna go with monsterboard.com. So what happens is you're looking for a job, you're fed up with your current job and you Say, I'm gonna post my resume online. Let's see what else is out there, right? <clears throat> First thing you gotta realize is that by the time you post your resume, you get it up there, it's, it's, it's live on their site. By the third day, your resume, which was probably on page one or two to start, is now on page 15 or 16. Why is this important? Because when recruiters are actually looking to hire individuals and they're on these various job boards, they very rarely get past page one, two, maybe they'll get to page three. And by then they've usually identified their three or four or maybe even five candidates for an opportunity. So your resume is now on page 15 by the time you've posted it that first day. Um, so that in itself can just cause recruiters to not even ever see your resume. So how do we guard against that? How do we get our phone ringing? What do we need to do to keep that constant uh, flow of calls coming in until you actually identify the job that you're looking for and you get into an influx of calls and you get a chance to do some uh, various uh, phone interviews just to kind of get into a rhythm. You know what I mean? I, I strongly encourage you to have multiple interviews with different companies. You know, you may be on an interview with a call and I mean on a call with an interviewer and you know you're not going to take the job, but use it as practice. Use that meeting as practice, okay? So this is what you're gonna do, step one. When you post your resume, all right, let's, I, I strongly recommend to do it on a Sunday evening, you know, last thing you do before maybe you go to bed, you know, slow Sunday, post your resume, okay? Now, I want you to do this on Monster Board, Career Builder. I want you to do it on all the job boards. A lot of states you live in have local job boards as well. Post it on all those job boards. Okay. Now this is something I want you to track. Okay. So you know you posted on all of these various websites um, on a Sunday evening. All right. Now I want you to do the following thing, the same thing next Sunday, the same thing every Sunday. Go in there and repost your resume. But you're not going to pull your resume off and repost it. No, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is go back to that same resume that you have online, i.e. monster board, and change a few words in your profile. You know, uh, your profile may say open to new opportunities. So you may change that to looking for a fresh start. You know, uh, you may have your salary at $80,000. Maybe you tweak that to $82,000. And then you simply refresh your resume. Now the system is going to recognize it as a freshly uploaded resume. So now, when you've posted your resume on Sunday and by the next Sunday, you're probably on page 20 or 30 and recruiters can't find you because they very, very rarely does a recruiter get past page three before they identify their three or four candidates for a role, okay? This is extremely important. So imagine if you do this with, let's say three or four job boards, it's gonna to lead to more productivity in terms of your phone ringing with opportunities. Again, maybe not opportunities you're, you're fit for, but it's gonna get you into that rhythm of fielding calls, talking to people, receiving emails about your resume and your experience. So do this. This is going to by far lead to more calls for your resume, all right? That's the first thing I want you to do. The, but the main thing you gotta remember is every Sunday you need to repeat this step every Sunday until you have got enough calls or you found the job you're looking for and you can stop doing that, right? Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to refresh your resume in terms of look it over, look at the bullet points. Uh, maybe, maybe you need to have a different version of a resume on another site versus 
how you how it's on monster board for example career builder you may have more of your management type of experience but then on monster you may have just more of your contributor type of experience you know so you just want to kind of feel across some different areas okay now the reason why this is important is because you don't want to you don't want to let positions that you could be a fit for pass you by for example maybe you are a manager right now maybe you're a project manager for example but you may have your resume on a site as a senior analyst, maybe on career builder, but then on monster board listed as a project manager. So you have it listed as a senior business analyst on one site, just change the job title, no, no harm, no foul, because now that's gonna feel calls at the senior analyst level that really may be project management potential, right? Or they're gonna be positions that, you know, maybe you'll come across someone that's looking for a PM and they say, well, wow, this person's a senior analyst. They're doing all the duties as a project manager. Wow, let me give them a call. And then when you speak with them, you let them know that, hey, my title actually is a project manager, but I tweak it because I do do some business analyst duties, right? So these are little tweaks that recruiters look for as into finding their candidate. But if you just think you're gonna post your resume online, and I call it posting and hoping. If you're gonna post and hope, you're gonna be sitting for a while. All right. And many of you may may, may, may kind of notice that when you first post your resume online, you kind of feel you're getting emails and calls, but then it kind of tapers off after the second week and the third week and then the fourth week, you're not getting any calls. You're like, what's going on? It's not that people don't think you have a nice resume. It's just that they can't find you. So every Sunday, go online, refresh your resume by changing a few key words up. All right. You should have a list of, there are a list of, eight or nine different websites you go on. I'd say Dice, Career Builder, uh, Monster Board, um, LinkedIn Jobs. Um, they're actually resumes, I mean, sorry, databases or what we call uh, job boards within your community in terms of your state that uh, maybe local jobs in DC.com or maybe local jobs in Florida.com like that you can post your resume to as well that get a lot of good mileage. So the main thing, refresh that resume every Sunday evening and do this, practice this step every Sunday, and you'll see your calls will increase, which will lead to more offers for you. My name is Kizan McNeil. I'm your career and financial coach. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Hey, if you did like what you heard today and you wanna stay up the breast to more videos and future videos of kind of covering this type of uh, content, please subscribe to the channel so you can be abreast. Make sure you turn those notifications on so that way every time a post is made, you'll be able to know it's done, you'll see it, boom, it'll help you get a job or uh, improve your financial situation for that matter. But while while I have you, while I have you here, guys, like, look at me, look at me real quick. Right below this screen, you're probably looking on your iPhone or whatever, there's a like button, it says thumbs up. Man, smash that like button for me. That helps with the YouTube algorithm, it helps me reach more people, you know, so they can get this content as well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Remember, always run your race.